Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Create a Monster Monster High doll. Actually, that just the head that I have attached to a Ghoulia Yelp's body. So I wanted to work on a different face sculpt, so this Create a Monster head matched the skin tone of Ghoulia perfectly, so I thought I'd go with that. This doll I am making for my Patreon doll of the month, and my patrons who or my patrons who subscribe to the doll of the month tier got this doll for the month of October. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a service where artists can be supported by their patrons in exchange for rewards. And mine is set up with a few different uh, tiers, but the highest tier is the doll of the month. And it's set up that patrons who subscribe to this tier can get a monthly doll mailed to them at a super low rate. And this subscription can be canceled at any time. The monthly doll is a simple version of my art dolls, usually with a wig or hair of the original doll, but they'll have a costume and face up. So for the month of October, I decided to do a Halloween theme similar to the Halloween theme dolls that I created for the shop. And I really like the combo of green and gray, so that's what I went with here. So in this video, I'm going to show the face up along with how I styled the wig and putting together the final look. So even though these Patreon dolls are a simple version of the dolls that I usually make, I have so much fun making them because I can try different things. And I'm really happy with the way that this one turned out for October. And I'm super excited to look in looking forward to the November doll of the month. What theme do you guys think I should do for November? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. So if you're interested in checking out my Patreon page, the link is in the description box below. And I've also listed the products that I used here with affiliate links. So check those out below as well or in the description box. So for these dolls, I used the same products that I used for my other dolls, my pan pastels and my Derwent watercolor pencils mainly. And I seal them with MSC sealer, Mr. Super Clear Flat UV Cut. I also have a supply video. Uh, it should be posted by the time you're watching this one, so I'll link that or put that in the iCard. And in that video, I go through uh, the products that I use most often and also some other options available, kind of other options that I recommend. Going a little heavy on the blush, so I'm using some Colorless blend Blender by Pan Pastel to soften that up a bit. And several layers of white before I go in with the eye color. So this is my Faber-Castell Sharpenable pencil, pencil Eraser, and I was kind of shaving it down to a point so it would be easier to erase that area under the eyebrow. As I'm recording this voiceover, I'm in New Orleans, or New Orleans, I always say that wrong and get corrected by the locals, <laughs> but I'm in New Orleans and we're tra doing some traveling and um, I'm still working while I'm traveling so if you're interested in checking out the video where I show my art room in our RV I'll link that as well but I've been inspired by like the culture down here the music and the um, there's a lot of like you know touristy stuff but I like the kind of voodoo stuff that they have, so I have some dolls that are inspired by the city coming soon, so check those out, or hit the sub subscribe button and the bell if you're interested in being notified of those videos. So 
So just going into on the eyes and adding some more detail there. And adding some highlights to the lips and eyebrows. Then I'll go in with her bottom lashes and then give her a about four coats of Mr. Super Clear UV Cut. And then I'm using high gloss varnish by Liquitex on the eyes and sometimes on the lips. I can't remember if I glossed these lips or not. There's no rhyme or reason to whether or not I gloss the lips. I just kind of look at it and if I like it the way it is and don't feel like I need to add gloss, then I don't. So for the wig, I used some faux fur and created a wig. I have a video on how to cre create wigs in, um, and I'll link that as well. Uh, I'll try to put an eye card up, um, but I'm going to show you how to style that here in a moment. Before I finish this doll, I actually decided to go a little bit further with it with the Halloween theme and do a little cobweb around her eye, and I was really super happy with how that turned out. I've done this on a couple of other dolls before, and I just like that look. So again, for the styling of the wig, I uh, used the faux fur and then a uh, rat tail comb to separate it into pigtails. I used some uh, double stick tape there to adhere the wig so it wouldn't move around. And then some just inexpensive hair gel that's just unscented. Just want to make sure that it's just unscented, simple hair gel just to kind of help it stay in place. But this faux fur styled easily and I pulled it into some pigtails and pulled out some of the uh, front area for some bangs. And then I added some little bows with pom-poms on the end to just give it a little bit of whimsy. And then after this I'll be showing how I put together the final look, just giving her her costume. I made a pair of shorts, a little skirt, and a corset. And all of the clothes that I make are removable. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. If you're interested in checking out my Patreon page, the link is also in the description box below. And there I've also listed the products that I use in this video and affiliate links. So if you have any questions, let me know. Hope everybody is having an awesome fall. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.